Hi, I'm Chris uh, from unitedfilming.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use scripts in Blender. Uh, not how to write scripts, just how to use scripts other people have created for you to use. Now, and the reason I'm showing you this to you is because if you're not familiar with the process, sometimes it seems a little bit odd, um, particularly obtaining uh, said scripts. Now, um, I'm here in uh, the wonderful blenderartist.org and if you go into blenderartist.org and search for Meshfoot, I'm sure it will bring you directly to this um, to this link. If not, then you can always uh, you can just copy that. Um, but yeah, it. Uh, I'm looking at uh, the the page for Atom's plugin Meshfoot, which is a fantastic um, uh, piece of software, very very useful. Um, and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So uh, if you just come to this, uh, this, this page and then click the download link, you'll sure enough, very quickly it will download um, Meshfoot for, for you. However, when you open it, when you click it and open it in Blender, it's just a regular Blend file with a text window open. Um, this is all very well and good and allows you to play with Meshfoot in Blender, but how do you then take that and apply it to your own uh, your own work, uh, to your own files? Well, here, here's the trick. Go to the text uh, menu. Oh, here we go. And what we're going to do is just click Save As, and we're going to save it out to a folder. Now, I keep uh, a Blender folder, a Blender scripts folder, just for any handy little tools uh, or scripts that I might find. Now, I've already saved this. Um, once before, um, and I'm just going to save it as meshfoot.py. That's uh, that's the extension for. It's a kind of text file um, containing Python script, which is what Blender reads and uses. So yeah, meshfoot.py. Save as. And now what that's done, it's taken the code and appended it to a file outside of Blender called meshfoot.py, which means next time we are working on a file. So I'm just going to create a new file. Might as well turn on the screencast keys while I'm here. Um, and next time, so next time you're working on a project and you think, right, I need to use Meshfoot now, um, but it's nowhere to be found. Just open up your text editor, text, open text block, go to your Blender folder uh, with the scripts where you saved it as, as recommended, open text block, and there it is again. Uh, great, so here's our, um, here's our software. However, now we've got it into Blender, now what the hell do we do with it? Well, uh, very simply, you click the register tick and run script. And that will um, append Meshfoot to your tools. Um, in this instance, Meshfoot actually creates an additional panel in your object menu. So with the cube selected, you'll notice down here at the bottom, we have our Meshfoot panel which we can now use in Blender. Um, this process is pretty much the same with any scripts. Um, uh, if you if you already got the uh, separate .py file, then that, uh, that the Python file, then that will cut out a couple of steps for you and be a little bit easier. Just drag it and drop it into your scripts folder and access it as you need it. Um, but if you are provided with uh, a .blend file, uh, then that's how you go in to extract it out. Um, actually, I should probably go back to the Meshfoot file. Um, if you can't find, if it's not currently, uh, if the plugin, the plugin, the, the script isn't actually open in a text file window, obviously I've just shown you how to open the text file, but you can also look at recent scripts just by clicking this button here, and obviously you can um, you can access scripts externally as I showed you earlier. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. That's how to um, access new scripts in Blender. I hope you found this useful. I've been Chris McFall for unitedfilmdom.com. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.